pause this video and give this problem a try. And then when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. Here we're given a picture of four flasks with liquids as well as gas particles above the liquid. We're also told that flask C contains the most number of particles in the vapor phase. And then we're also told the identity of the, of the four compounds, the chemical formula, as well as the boiling point. So this question asks, which of the following is not shown in the model, but best helps to explain why flask C contains the most pentane. So we're told that flask C contains the most pentane vapor above the liquid. So that means that pentane will have or has the highest vapor pressure because vapor pressure is just related to the number of particles above a liquid in equilibrium. And so with vapor pressure, you should know that it's dependent on two factors. The first factor is the, the temperature. Um, and the second factor is the intermolecular forces. So higher temperature and weaker intermolecular forces will lead to a, a higher vapor pressure. And so the answer here is going to be C. The strength of intermolecular forces between the particles will explain why flask C has the highest vapor pressure. Because flask C has, pe contains pentane, all of these four compounds are nonpolar, so they will all have, they'll all just have London dispersion force. But pentane has the lowest molar mass, the least number of electrons, so it will have the weakest intermolecular force, which will cause it to have the highest vapor pressure. Because the liquid molecules are not as attracted to each other, so it will take less energy for the liquid molecules to escape due to the weaker intermolecular forces. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.